For those who've been patiently waiting for new AMD APUs, your wait is close to an end. Also, Intel has announced their new mobile chips, and we have some hard confirmation from Intel on Coffee Lake. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. While most of all this part we already knew, I figured now that we're actually getting database hits, it's time to go over Raven Ridge. For those who don't know, Raven Ridge is the codename for AMD's newest APUs, and they're coming fast to a laptop near you. They're built with AMD's new Zen CPU and Vega GPU architectures. That's right, AMD is set to use their newest intellectual properties on a mobile all-in-one chip, and it's said to be quite impressive. Originally found by Computer Base and subsequently reported by video cards, two new APUs were spotted in CompuBench and GFX Bench. The lower tier of the two is the Ryzen 5 2500U and comes with a Vega 8 mobile GPU. The second model comes with the Ryzen 7 2700U and a Vega 10 mobile GPU. And no, this isn't that Vega 10. This is a very cut down mobile version. When it comes to the CPUs, we don't have too much information, just that these should go as high as 4 cores and 8 threads, which is certainly a great feat for a low cost APU. As for the GPU, the database is a little confusing. The maximum compute units will more than likely be 11. That means Vega 10 Mobile comes with 704 stream processors, or roughly 17.1% the performance of Vega 64. It's hard to compare this perfectly given scalability, but it seems to put it a little below or around an RX 550, which definitely isn't bad for an integrated GPU. Of course, that's very much a guess at this point, given it would have the same clocks, etc. Basically, if you're wanting an inexpensive laptop that could possibly run some esports games competently, Raven Ridge might be a great option for you. Next up, Intel has officially launched their new 8th generation CPUs. Starting with mobile devices, and when I say mobile, I mean ultrabooks and two-in-one type of mobile. So these aren't your powerhouse chips. Really, I wasn't going to discuss it since it's pretty much not gaming hardware, but I know some would be interested. Either way, this is an updated KB Lake, so not Coffee Lake just yet. But the CPUs look to go as high as 8 threads, which is definitely nothing to scoff at and therefore gives these CPUs up to a 40% boost in performance over their last generation mobile chips. They are keeping these at 15 watts, but they lowered the base clock, which is understandable given the added cores. Lastly for today, Intel has confirmed a couple things about Coffee Lake by revealing official renders of the i5 and i7 boxes. The first reveal is that the i7 and i5 will officially have 6 cores. This was later guaranteed by Intel while revealing it during the mobile announcement. Of course, this isn't exactly surprising, but still fantastic for those waiting on Coffee Lake to build a PC. The second bit of news is more confirmation, but not in a good way. As you can see, Intel's newest 8th generation CPUs will require a new motherboard. I did a video on it a little while back, but wasn't 100% sure since it came from a third party motherboard manufacturer. Still, coming from an official motherboard partner is close to the real deal, but now we know without a doubt. So for those hoping to snag Intel's newest chip for your spiffy motherboard, unfortunately you'll have to ditch it as well. With that said, given the 6 core jump, it's not all that surprising, as they probably weren't able to get it to work. But still, it sucks nonetheless. So while that does it for today's news, if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe. Also make sure to hit that little notification bell, so you get notified when I have a new video up. And before I go, make sure to let me know what you thought about today's news. Are you excited for AMD's APUs? Or what about Intel's mobile chips? Let me know down in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.